Hey everyone, welcome back to Sibirov. In this video, I will be explaining that how to unblock Discord on your school Chromebook, Windows or MacBook. I will be sharing two different uh, methods that are the best Discord unblocked uh, website methods. Make sure that if this works for you, then please consider subscribing to the channel, like the video and let me know in the comment section that which one works for you. So the very first one will be uh, this website you have to open this website that's called archive.org majority of the school they do not block it i believe that none of the school block it because it doesn't make any sense blocking such kind of website so i will be sharing the link in the description you have to open this website and once you come here on the top you will find enter url or keywords okay so if i go and type here discord dot com so you just need to type the address here discord.com then hit on enter and the only drawback is that it loads a bit slow okay now once you type the address you will get such kind of dates and here you have to choose the latest date so right now we are in september so i go either with 25 or 26 of september so hold up to 25 or to any latest date and then click on the screenshot that will be displayed so go with any one of them now it will take some time and it, it will load up right now you can see that the discord page just came up and on the top you will see the login option so this will be not an application this will be a discord web version that you will be getting here so click on login and this will be coming up with a login page where you can just either sign up or log in to your discord account all right now you can see that we came up with the login page now here you have to enter your email and your password and now you can log into your discord account and you can easily uh, chat or watch a stream or do anything that you want as i said the only drawback is that the this kind of version works slow as comparison to your uh, real computer so but at least it will work for you at least you can open discord and check your messages chat with people and do other kind of stuff all right so now let's go with the second method that will be only applicable for the people for the students who have any kind of computer at their home so here we will be using a website called chrome remote desktop so the concept is like this kind of website is not blocked on your school and what you can do you can turn on your computer or your laptop or your chromebook at your home and you can access that home computer from your school computer and once you get the remote access of that home computer you can do whatever you want you can open discord you can open your personal file do whatever you wish how this work on your school computer you have to open this website and here you will be getting this option connect to another computer so you have to paste the access code here that you will be getting from your home computer so let's say i have opened another computer in a virtual machine okay so let's consider this one as your home computer now from your home computer you have to click on share my screen then click on this blue circle download one click on it and it will start downloading then click on add to chrome then click on add extension and once it will be downloaded it will just let you know ready to install click on accept and install then click on yes click on yes Alright, now it's been done and it says generate code. Okay, so you have to click on it. And quickly, this will generate a code here. Now, be careful because uh, I understand that you have a question that how people can, uh, how you can just access your home computer and do all this work. Now, for that, you just need to consult someone in your family like your family member your friend you can ask anyone that they can come on your computer for a while follow these steps 
and ask them to generate this code and send you on your phone or on your email address so once you get this code you just need to copy it from wherever you receive it on your email or somewhere then you have to go to your school computer and paste the code here so once you paste it click on connect and there will be a permission asked on your home computer so click on share you can see that now i have the access of that computer right so now i can open anything you can see that this is my computer and this is the computer that i have accessed okay so i can do anything now i can open discord or i can access anything on my computer and that all you will be doing from your home from your school computer right so as i said this is only applicable for the students who have a computer or a pc or a laptop at their home and they need a help of someone in their family or their friend who can help them to uh, perform this kind of task all right so hopefully this will work for you guys and if yes make sure that you hit the like and subscribe to the channel and i see you in the next video bye bye